Hello, this is Randy Mills. I've put together a short video tutorial to help you understand the correct way to get your banking information entered into the ZebraPay system so you can be paid by the schools. This video picks up um, after you've already registered with ZebraPay, which is not so hard to do if you follow the instructions that were provided. And then you'll start to receive emails from each individual school and this is where it starts to get a little confusing. So you start by logging yourself into the iSolve system. Your username is your email address. And then you'll be prompted to put your password in. And then after you've responded to the schools, you'll start to see a list build of the schools that you're going to be working for in the near future. So once you get to this point, you're not done. There is still some things you need to do to make sure that you can be paid by the school. So pick one of the schools and click on it. It's going to log you into that school's portal. And then over on the left here, you're going to see a bunch of options. Right now, we're going to be dealing with the direct deposit updates. So you're going to click on direct deposit updates over here on the left. Now you come to this screen here. And if you start to work here and enter anything, you notice that you can't enter anything. None of the drop downs work. All right. What you have to do is you have to click add new. Once you click add new, you need to follow these instructions specifically in order to get your system set up correctly. So to start with status, you have to click active. For account type, you have to choose correctly whether you're doing this from a a checking account or a savings account. In my case, it's going to be a checking account. For sequence, they want you to aim uh, to enter remaining net. And then frequency should be listed every pay. Amount, you don't enter anything. Percent, you don't enter anything. Now you need to enter your banking account routing information. and then your account number. And then if you wanna label it so that you know which account this is for your future reference, you can put a description of the account. Um, now, I've had some people say, well, I'm not really comfortable putting my routing account number and my checking account number and giving that to people. Well, it's really not a risk. Here's the deal. Every time in your life that you've handed somebody a check, that check has had on it your routing information and your account number information. So putting this on here is no riskier than handing somebody a check. So once you've entered this information correctly, double check it to make sure you've got it correct, and then hit save. Once you hit save, you'll see it's up here and it's listed. So once that's complete, you need to go back out and you need to go back and you need to do this for each individual school. So there's a couple different ways you can get back um, to where you need to be. You can hit the back button. It'll take you back here. And now you need to go to the next school. Come over here to direct deposits on the left and you need to do it again. So as you see, just because you entered it for one school, it does not copy the information um, over. You need to do it again. And again, you can't click here. You have to hit add new. Then you can click here. It's active, account type, which in my case is checking. Sequence is remaining net. Frequency, you leave it at every pay. You do not check the amount, the percent. You enter your routing numbers. and your account number. And then an account description, if you wanna be reminded which account you're putting it into, and then you have to click save. Once you'll do, you'll see it's up here. Again, I would double check to make sure you got that information correct. You don't wanna be depositing this money in someone else's account. 
and then you're done. Uh, you could hit the back button again, go back and do your next school. But the unfortunate reality is every time you add a new school, you need to go in and you need to update your checking account or savings account information so that money can be direct deposited into your account. Now, the way I understand this is going to happen is apparently every two weeks, uh, these deposits will be made. And we're not really clear yet how you're going to get a notification as to when you were paid. But if we log back into one of the accounts here, I'm logging back into Vernon Township. You'll notice on the left here, one of the options all the way on the left here is pay history. I'm assuming that once they've paid you, you're going to start to see a history here of uh, what's been paid. So I hope this helps. Um, may do another one in the future if there's more information to be updated. But if you have any other questions, I suggest you sub, uh, uh, reach out to support from Zebra Web themselves, and hopefully they can uh, fix any issues you might have. Have a great one.